Welcome to this Australian Earth Science Education video about stormwater treatment. Have you ever wondered where the water goes when it rains? Runoff is directed from street drains into local waterways, but there's a problem. Stormwater is not clean. Many substances besides water may be in storm runoff, including rubbish, animal waste, motor oil, pesticides, and fertilizers. These substances end up polluting our inland waterways and eventually flow to the ocean. In order to improve water quality, many local councils install a variety of stormwater treatment devices. The most basic treatment is a gross pollutant trap that catches large items. More advanced stormwater treatment uses natural principles to create a biofilter. We are going to model stormwater treatment with a gross pollutant trap, sediment trap, and biofilter in this experiment. You will need plastic tubs, some turf, soil, an old tea towel, sand, a cordless drill, a colander, some plastic containers, and some model pollutants for your stormwater. I'm using milk to represent liquid pollutants, shredded paper as a litter, clean cat litter for animal waste, and real stormwater pollutants of leaves, soil, and sand. Use the cordless drill to make holes in the bottom of your large plastic bin. Make sure to drill over another bin so you collect all of the plastic chips. These should go in the rubbish bin. Assemble your biofilter by placing a large bin on a level surface. Put plastic containers in it to elevate your drilled bin. Line the drilled bin with an old tea towel and pour sand layer on top of this. Next, cover the sand with a thick layer of garden soil. Then, cut a piece of turf to fit across the surface of the bin. A real biofilter would have native plants growing in the soil, but we want instant results. Set up the remaining bins so that a shallow bin slowly drains into the biofilter. This shallow bin represents a sediment trap. The colander is our model gross pollutant trap. Mix your stormwater well, and then pour it into the colander and let it flow through the system. Note what pollutants are removed at each stage. You may need to gently elevate the end of your shallow sediment trap bin to help the water flow into the biofilter. Our colander represented the gross pollutant trap. It removed large items like leaves and twigs and a lot of cat litter too. The shallow bin acts as a sediment trap, allowing soil and sand to settle out. The water that has filtered through our biofilter is brown in color because it's freshly built. A mature biofilter with deep-rooted plants will yield much cleaner water. You'll note that the white from the milk has been filtered out, as have the solid pollutants. Biofilters are an effective way to remove dissolved pollutants. Scummy, leaf and litter-filled water is naturally filtered into clean creek water using stormwater treatment. We hope you've enjoyed this experiment with stormwater treatment. For more videos, blog posts, and resources, see our website at ozearthed.com.au.